the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 275, Ezra 9 to 10. Ezra's laws and the repentance movement. Beginning with the prey of Ezra, who accepted the sins of the nation as his own and repented. The foundation of reform based on God's covenants and laws was laid down. First point, when Ezra saw that the returned captives, priests, and the Levites married 14 women, he expressed devastation. The leaders from the second group of returned captives came to Ezra and reported the sins of the priests and the Levites. They reported that the priests and Levites did not separate themselves from foreign women. Very early on, God had told through Moses for the people to separate themselves with their foreign neighbors. But Solomon and Ahab representatively disobeyed this law. And now the people started to disobey it. When Ezra heard this, he was unable to hide his devastation. Ezra tore his robes, shaved off his hair and beard, and expressed the utter devastation towards these people. Ezra had the heart of God when he tore his robes. When those who sinned heard this, they came to Ezra in great fear. Second point, Ezra reflected on God's punishment through Israel's history and started a repentance movement. Ezra started to pray for the people as they had intermarried with the foreign women. Ezra confessed the sins of the people. Ezra confessed the nation's sins to God and repented on their behalf. Ezra claimed that their sins were great and that they repented. Ezra then prayed to the merciful God to thank him. Ezra said in his prayer, that God had delivered the people from captivity with his great mercy, but they had once again sinned before him. Although it was too embarrassing even to ask for forgiveness again, Ezra nonetheless asked for forgiveness and proclaimed that the people repented before him. Third point, Ezra pressed reset for a kingdom of priests through the foundation of the Jerubbabel Temple. Ezra continued his prayer and he referred to God's laws in order to repent on behalf of the people. Ezra claimed that God was righteous, but humans were unrighteous, and thus they needed God's great mercy. Ezra prayed for the people as Daniel had prayed for his people in the past. This was also continued by Nehemiah, who also prayed for his people. Ezra's prayer gave the people a new start to become good figs in the kingdom of priests. To the people that gathered, Ezra told them to repent. As such, the foundation of Jerubbabel's temple and Ezra's prayer meant that a kingdom of priests was able to become implemented once again. Although the physical restoration of the temple had been implemented, the contents inside were yet to be started. Now the 16th descendant of Aaron, Ezra, hit the reset button and turned the people before God. The people were able to move one step towards being holy citizens in the kingdom of priests. Fourth point, through the rights given to him by the Persian king, Ezra assembled all the people for three days. The returned captives repented before God. Here, Shekaniah, who was the son of Jehiel, swore to help Ezra. He promised to part from the foreign women and to live by the law. He furthermore promised to do his best to help Ezra carry out the religious reformation. 
Ezra told the people to all gather, and if they did not come within three days, they would be excluded from the community. This was only possible as the king had given him the rights. After this notice, all the people assembled, and they feared to stand in front of Ezra. Fifth point. Ezra's reformation for a kingdom of priests so its result in three days. The returned captives assembled within three days and decided to obey Ezra's reformation for kingdom of priests. Ezra told the people to repent and to split from their foreign women, but a group of people said that they needed time before sending away their foreign wives. At this, Jonathan and Jazea stood out to say that they would immediately split from their foreign wives. It was decided that within three months, all would split from their foreign wives, and this was all checked and recorded. As such, within the next three months, 112 foreign women were all sent back, and the people were restored to their faith. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.